Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and you want to prove that it's left that's inciting violence at Trump rallies? Right here you have it. The name of this dirtbag is Jesse Ben, and there's another dirtbag after this one. He's not the only one. Where does he work? Huffington Post. This is a criminal. I mean, he is openly advocating and inciting violence. You can't do that. I can't say go out and smash and trash because I don't like something. That's crime. You can't do that. But this dirtbag, Jesse Ben at Huffington and Puffington Post, whatever, is doing that. And the rise of Donald Trump has exposed the frightening underbelly of America's foulest tendencies. Our racism, nativism, xenophobia, misogyny, Islamophobiaism, uh, ableism, and propensity towards authoritarianism have been laid bare. Oh, for crying around. This is a sick fucker. Alright? There's so many examples of Trump inciting violence. New York Times put this video together documenting some of them. He hasn't been inciting violence. I'm going to take a look at the video. Now, Trump, uh... It's from the old school. The video does show him. He's a tough guy. He uh, is from the old school. There's no question. I'm not arguing that. You know, I, I did go to one of his rallies, and there was no violence encouraged. The only ones causing trouble were the people on the left. And, you know, Trump is not responsible for somebody carrying around a Mexican flag, wearing a bandana like you're seeing here, and causing trouble. He's not responsible for that. The left is responsible. That's an American Sandinista. Uh, I don't know how many of you understand this, but these people are waving Mexican flags around, carrying them around. Well, uh, they are the reconquistadors. They want to take over about half of this country, the lower half, including California, too. So, at any rate, the point of this article is that the left is declaring war. See, it's the left that starts the violence, and then when Trump, when uh, Trump or a Trump supporter more likely replies to it, then they blame Trump. So what we're supposed to do is just sit there. People are just supposed to let the tar be beat out of them while the police stand by and do nothing. It's not going to happen. I'll tell you another thing. If you sons of bitches try to block uh, polling places in November, you're going to have trouble. Uh, around where I live, you're likely having the gun or a knife drawn on you. I mean, that's the way it works. So, a word of the wise is sufficient. Don't try to block the uh, polling places. Out where I live, we uh, live kind of a little on the rough side. And there's a lot of people out there who would have no compunctions about uh, you. Let's just put it that way. They would have no compunctions. So don't block the uh, people from voting. That's a little warning to the left. But this uh, dirtbag goes on to blame Trump for the violence because he just can't have the political opinions he has. He has to change his political opinions to what this 
dirtbag wants. So let's take a look at this other thing. I'm not going to run too long on this. Emmett Renson, vice of Trump comes to your town, start a riot. See, this is this is a game they play. They've been provoking this stuff, and then when Trump responds, they wind up uh, blaming him. This is a typical tap tactic of the left. Now, if the protesters were peaceful and just you know, let their views be known, none of this shit would have happened. This is a typical tactic of the left. They provoke violence and they blame it on the other guy. But here we have Emmett Rosen, I uh, forget who the, uh, he's from Vox, and he's a dirtbag. He's a criminal by definition because he's saying if Trump, Trump comes to town, start a riot. That is inciting violence. That is a criminal act. He can't incite violence. I know Trump is old school and rough. I have no uh, disagreement with that. But, uh... It's the left that's actually provoking this violence. Like I said, I'm going to issue this warning to the left. Don't try to block the polling places in November. Don't. Just don't. You see somebody who's a Trump support, you think is a Trump supporter, don't fuck with him. That's all I'm going to say. The area around like here where I live is kind of rough anyway, so uh, a word to the wise is sufficient. You fuck with us and try to stop us from voting, you, uh, you're going to pay the consequences. I've never had any trouble around this area. Oh, uh, we're pretty quiet around here. But years ago, somebody, uh, they put up a sign. I don't know whether it was uh, in one of the windows in town. Reward for the arrest and torture of somebody who vandalized something. That's the way they think. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Warning of the left, stop instigating violence, and you won't have any problem with Trump. Let him have his political opinion. That's all you gotta do. Stand by and let him have his political opinions. You have no right to do this stuff. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I stand by this message.